everybody, Sean Parkinson, and in this video I want to show you how to set up a new blockchain account if you've not already got one. Um, blockchain is one of the leading um, providers for um, wallets for, block, for Bitcoin. Um, the one that I was looking at previously was called Coin Corner, but the, the actual rates for their their exchange, you know, like changing um, currency was quite extortionate. So this is a much more realistic uh, way to do that. So to get started, you just need to go to this address at the top of here. You can see that in the in the, um, in the video. It's blockchain.info slash wallet. And then it's the, um, I'm not sure, quite sure what you call that, the gate sign. And then it's slash sign up. And what you'll end up with is this screen that looks like this. Now, I'm going to use an email that I don't generally use. It's just one that I have for like um, for spam stuff. So I'm going to take you through exactly how you do this um, using this email address, but it'll never get used, so it's not a problem. So you need to set up an email, the email address that you want to use, and a, a reasonably strong password, ideally stronger than what this is. So I would normally go for around about 10, 10 characters, so um, numbers and letters, uppercase, as uppercase and lowercase. And also use things like exclamation marks or the at sign, anything which makes it a stronger word, with, where this comes across and says very strong. So once you've done that, you click continue. And it creates your wallet ID. So this is going to say you want to get some Bitcoin. So if you go to the email address that you've just created, you'll find the emails just come from them. And it should do. One moment. There we go, blockchain email address. And what you'll see there is that that's the wallet ID that they've given you. And this is your how you verify that email address. So you click on that. It'll log you into your blockchain account. It says it's OK. So then you, it says you can go back to the previous browser. So you just log out of that one and go back to the browser that you had open before, which was this one. And here it's saying that you can actually buy the Bitcoins. But before we do that, I just want to show you how to set up the rest of your account to make it more secure. So just close that down. And you come over here on the left and you can see where you get your security center showing red. You click on where it says security center. And you're going to get these boxes. So what you need to do, first of all, is create a backup recovery phase. This is, this is used purely and simply if you were to forget your email. Um, you know, to forget how to log in or you forgot that the actual address, you know, this one that we've got here, this big long address. So you need to really write this down somewhere and keep it really, really safe. So don't try and copy it and um, write it down, copy it and then paste it into something, I don't know, like an Excel spreadsheet and then keep that safe and password protected. Um, but what you're going to use now over here, oops, sorry, wrong one, we're in the wrong thing here. What you're going to click on is backup recovery phase. So click on that. And then if you click on this where it says backup phrase, and you, you need to enter your password, the password that you just used to, to create this account. Okay, now it wants you to fill out this recovery sheet. You, it's, you can do that, or you just have a piece of paper ready to go. And what you need to do is click on next step. Can you see these words here? You need to write these words down. So let me just write those quickly down. So it's Crystal Tower Injury. And next. And you get 12 of these. So make sure you write them down and make sure you write the number next to them so you know which ones they are. And then you've got Category. Yours are obviously going to be a lot different to mine otherwise it wouldn't be a unique thing okay and then next four words okay and then you click on final step and it's going to ask you to give that give that the system the, the word so it wants the sixth word, which was asset. Oops, sorry. That was the sixth. Then it wants the ninth. All right, that was manage. Then it wants the first word, which was crystal. 
And the last word was inquiry. Okay, so you just fill them in as, as it would have been on yours. I don't know what your own words would have been, but make sure you write those down and click, click finish. And it says, yep, that's okay and everything's fine. So what he wants you to do now is create a hint password. So whatever your password is, you know, whether you've called it the dog or something like that, or where your favorite holiday place is, if you do, just put a password hint. So this will be... Um, Something like that, because I'm never going to use this um, blockchain account, so that's fine. So click on save. So that's done now. So that's done. Uh, you can link your mobile number to it. I can't really do. I don't want to do this with this account because I've already got what my other accounts are up. So all you would do is click on link number, put your number in here, and then click save. And you what? What it'll do is it'll send you a text message with um, a verification code. You just enter that in where it asks you to fill that number in. And then if you went, you can enable two-step for authentication that you need to have a Google um, authenticator. So it, I'll do that in a separate video. It's a bit more complicated than that. Um, and what you can do down here is block for, block for requests. So what you will say is block. This is going to prevent IP addresses that are known to be part of the Tor uh, anonymizing network. So what you just want to do is say block. So click on block. And that comes back so you more or less obviously once you've done the mobile um, and enable two-step two-step authentication that should go all the way across and be green so once that's done you're more or less ready to start buying Bitcoin so what you would do now is you go up to buy Bitcoin and they have a third-party um, provider that they use which is called Coinify and what you would do there is you click on continue and you need to enter the amount that you want to buy. So you, up to now, I believe it's £200, so in GBP. But you can buy in any denomination from Euros, GBP, or USD. I don't, I'm not sure what DKK is, but you can use that as well. Um, so say you was going to buy £200, and that would equal 0.25 um, Bitcoins at the moment at today's rate. So you click on Buy Bitcoin. You need to accept their terms and conditions. Click on continue. It's going to ask you how do you want to pay. So if you want to pay by debit card, it's three percent. You can pay pay by bank wire, but it's it's um it is free, but it takes two to three days. So it all depends on whether you're desperate to get this money into into your account or not. But if you if you can wait two to three days, and obviously use this way because it is free. I'm just going to show you this. I'm not actually going to do it because I don't need any Bitcoins today, but I'm not in this account especially. But I just want to show you the process. So click on continue. And it's going to say, this is everything that you want. And then the fee is going to be £6. So click confirm. And what it's going to do now is go across to, I'm assuming, a payment gateway. So you'd fill all this in, fill all your details, the credit card number, the expiry, and then you would click process card. I'm just going to say finish later because I don't really want to do that today. So that's how you would do that. And then obviously you'd end up with bitcoins in your account of, of 0.25, which would then appear up here. And then you can actually then go ahead and, and make some transfers. So I'll do that in another video. So this is purely how to set it up and how to buy some bitcoins. Okay, I hope this, this video has been useful. Um, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by clicking the subscribe button and let me know if there's any videos that you specifically want me to do um, going forward and I will make sure I get those done for you soon. Okay, I shall see you on the next video.